There was a time my parents went on a trip to Europe. I was taking care of their house. I was home for the summer from school anyway, so it was fine. I had been there for a few weeks and it was pretty quiet. I just went to work, came home, had some time with my friend, enjoying the house to ourselves and whatnot. But one night, I was just laying there watching TV when I heard this really weird low whistling sound coming from the window that was behind the couch. It struck me as sort of odd, and I just shrugged it off. But then it happened again. It totally sounded like it was a person standing up against the window whistling. I looked out the window and obviously there was no one there. So I figured I should go check it out. If it was something like the wind on a siding, I should probably fix it because that would get annoying. So I walked out into the backyard. The backyard in my parents' house is really, really pretty. It's sparse, but sort of forest that leads to a road on the other side. So I looked at the house and didn't see anything, but then I heard the sound again. It was coming from the woods in the back. I was pretty creeped out at this point, and of course I couldn't see anything in the woods. So I hurried back through the door and I locked it behind me. I never really heard that sound again for the next few days. Until one night, I was asleep in my room and I could have sworn I was awakened by the whistling sound against my second floor window. I listened hard and it was dead silent. So I decided I should go ahead and look out the window. I did that whole thing where I crept super slowly towards it and just sort of peeked through it. Outside my window, there was a man just standing there. I was really sleepy, so I can't know how much of this I'm misremembering. But he was just sitting there staring at me. I was completely frozen, and slowly, the man pursed his lips, and I could hear that whistle again. It was crystal clear. It made me feel like crying. I tore myself away from the window and I hid under my covers. The next night I insisted that my friend stay with me. He did, and of course nothing happened. He figured that I was just tired and delirious and maybe I was right. It gets kind of anticlimactic here, but I didn't hear it for another week or so. And when I did, it was just one small whistle just happening randomly, coming from a wall or something like that. It just happens every week or so, and it always freaks me out tremendously. To this day, I will never stay in that house alone anymore.